Welcome to Tirana, the country's capital. Here's my hostel. Let's go. Did you make a reservation? Yeah, for yesterday. Oh, for yesterday? Yeah, I tried to email. Oh. I did for the wrong days. Hi. Welcome to the hostel. Uh, um, this is my bed in the corner. Uh, there are mini lockers. So, of course, I won't fit my backpack, so I'll just have to lock my bag against my bed. I'll show you guys what I mean. Oh, this is perfect. We have privacy curtains. So nobody can watch me as I sleep. There are also lights in there, an outlet, and a shelf, like a little caddy to put your stuff in. This was 10 and a half euros per night, which is around like 11 bucks per night. I'll just be here for two nights. Um, this room is fucking atrocious. Like, what is this? So that was the room, and let me show y'all the bathroom. Got a toilet in there. And then a couple showers. So as you guys saw, the bathroom was not the cleanest as well. But yeah, I'd be happy to get up out of there. Anywho, I'm outside, y'all. I told myself I was not gonna come outside, but I got hungry. So now, I'm going to this restaurant that I looked up. Found it. I heard great reviews about this place. This place has completely stolen my heart. Oh, that. All right, y'all. So my food is here. I got the lamb, and then I also got Fergus, which is cottage cheese and bell peppers, which is a dish that they're famous for. It looks a little overcooked. Slightly overcooked, but it has a good flavor overall. I like it. And right, now we'll try the Fergus. That's good. It's like salty and vinegary and that's a 10 out of the 10. So I just up out of the restaurant. Now I'm just on my way back to the hostel. Tirana is so lively. Look at this, this is so cute. Fruits and vegetables. Oh wow, a cheese store. Almost back to my hostel. I saw this. I wanted to show y'all. F you all. What happened to this person? And these are some of their apartments. Oh, that's pretty scary. Well, I am back at my hostel. When I get inside, I'm going to show you to sleep. I have to wake up early in the morning. I will see you guys in the morning. That was it for day one. Good morning, y'all. That was the bed bug. And it was real thick. Like the thick body part that was dark, that's blood that's inside of it. So I'm going to tell y'all exactly what happened. But first, I'm going to eat. Anyway, this is breakfast. This is my new room. Much cleaner, much cleaner than the other one, huh? In the other room, the bed bug was actually right here. I'll give y'all some more insight and a quick story time once I get outside. So I'm about to go take a shower and get dressed because there's like hella shit that I wanna do today. I have 
three different places I want to go to. So I'm going to start getting ready now because I only have 24 hours in Tirana starting now. We're outside now. Okay, I don't know what it is about Tirana, you guys, but the fucking cat calling is getting out of hand. I've been outside of my hostel for less than five minutes and I've already had four people, literally four different people. Two people asked me to smoke. Somebody literally walked up to me and said, hello, bad bitch. What? This is crazy. So anyway, quick story time about the bad bug situation. So I'm just sitting down on the bed, minding my business. I look to the right and it's a bad bug crawling. I'm like, oh God, please just let this be a beetle. Y'all, I look closer and it's a bad bug. So I told him what happened. Long story short, he moved. I was gonna go to another hostel, but he ended up moving me into a new room, an empty room with less beds, paying the same price. So I stayed. So yeah, that's the story behind the bed bug situation. So anyway, right now I'm on, I'm walking to this place called Skanderberg Square, which is their city square. And then from there I have two other places that I'm going to go to. So yeah, let's enjoy the view while we walk to the square together. What does that mean? It's a uh, thank you for uh, curious people that come in here. Aww. <laughs> so I think this is the square. It's huge. And look at this. I heart Tirana. This is so cute. Ah, <laughs> this is cute. Of course, I gotta take a picture. Duh. I don't have a sorry. I'm sorry. I don't have a sorry. I'm sorry. So y'all saw that little boy that just came up to me begging for money. So his mother's right there. His mother sent him over to like ask me for money. So I opened up my purse. Why this little boy pointed to twenty dollars? I said no. I'm not giving you twenty dollars. You're wilding out. Okay. So now that we have Skanderbeg Square crossed off of our list, we have two other places that I want to see. I'm about to walk to the bus right now. This bus is packed, like packed to the max. I have to wait for the next one. This is too many people. They can't even fit. Yeah, this bus got crowded real quick. It's packed on here. I'm swishing in my seat. Three, two, one, we're here. <laughs> Look, the Bunk Art Museum. Uh, history time. Okay, so let me give you guys a little bit of history. So this is a bunker, and what a bunker is, is like a type of shelter used when there is a war for people to hide in. So for 50 years, Albania was ruled by this dictator called Enver Hoxha. So he built this bunker to protect him and the government in case of war. Crazy, right? So what they did was they turned it into a museum. And apparently it's very, very scary. I'm excited. So the ticket with the audio is 700 like, which is about seven bucks. All right, y'all, so unfortunately, I am not allowed to take pictures or record in this place, but of course, I'm gonna take some pictures because what's an experience if you don't got nobody to share it with? Anyway, so let's go. Yay!
very unsettling experience to say the least like I literally almost shed a tear it was crazy and like on top of that it was freezing cold in there the smell just everything about it but um that's over and done with back outside <laughs> we have one more stop to go on our checklist that needs to be completed and that's about like a 10 minute walk so let's get the walking and we're here. Oh, it's constantly moving. Okay. Yeah. Hi, I'm Malta. I'm from Germany. Uh, I'm Jackson. I'm from Taiwan. So I met these two at the Barker Museum and come to find out we were both coming to this cable car experience. So I just tagged along with them. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, it's fast. This is fast. What in the world? Wow, wow. Oh. Drop a little bit. Oh god, <laughs> I don't even think I thought this through before coming. Yeah, I just... <laughs> Me yeah, we definitely got off to a rocky start. Not gonna lie, y'all, this thing is getting a little scary the harder we go. But it's beautiful up here, look. From this angle, you can kind of see how. So this is the top, you guys. And over there is a beehive. Oh God, I don't like bees. I do not like bees. Did you make the wish? Nope. Guess what she wants to do with them? Oh, jeez, Louise. Look at the couple's, couple's heart. That's sweet. Look at this other balcony that we found. Like, how amazing is this? And we're back to civilization. Still with these two. I must say, I am pleasantly surprised with Tubiana. Like, this city has definitely exceeded any and all expectations that I've had. It's dope. Like, look at this. Okay, so I'm about to cry. If you know me, you will know that I am literally addicted to truffle. I will give my right arm for some truffle. Y'all, they have a whole truffle restaurant. Here I am supposed to be eating the local food and they done reeled me in. Like a whole restaurant <sighs> dedicated to truffle. Propel to be sick of me. Oh, yeah. She wants the whole thing. Gorgonzola cream gnocchi, which is like a potato dumpling. around for a little bit more we're gonna go to the square this place is so cute and what the hell is going on over here this is so nice like Tirana this is what you have to offer this is nice. This is their Regency Casino. I feel 
like I didn't step into Vegas for a second. So look, uh, American night. So this one is spicy. Mm -hmm. and this one is with uh, herbs. I don't know how it, it's called correctly. Herbs. Mm -hmm. This is uh, normal one, Lugani, mm -hmm. and uh, this is one. Uh, this one is called shisha bath. It's made with chicken and uh, rolled with bacon. Yeah, really nice, and I'm glad to meet you. Oh! Nice to meet you too. Fellow Mendarit. Fellow Mendarit, you Sad story. So I just ended up parting ways with my two new friends. That's the backpacker life. It's like you meet people, y'all hang out for a day, y'all click, y'all have a great time, and then boom, they're gone. So now I am on my way back to my hostel. It's about like a 10 minute walk, but there's so many people outside. So safe out here.